Mithun Rashi, or Gemini, is the third sign of the zodiac. The group of stars in the constellation span from 60 degrees to 90 degrees. The Gemini constellation is one of the most recognizable and prominent constellations in the night sky. It is a constellation of the zodiac and is visible from both hemispheres. The constellation is named after the mythical twins Castor and Pollux, who were known for their bravery and prowess in battle. Gemini is located in the northern hemisphere and is visible from December to April. The best time to view it is in January, when it is highest in the sky. Gemini is easily recognizable due to its distinctive shape, which looks like two stick figures standing side by side, with their arms linked together. The Gemini constellation is home to several bright stars, the brightest of which are Castor and Pollux, the two stars that represent the heads of the twins. Castor is the brighter of the two, and is a system of six stars, while Pollux is a giant star and one of the brightest stars in the sky. Other notable stars in Gemini include Alhina, which is a white star that is located at the foot of the twin on the left, Mebsuda which is a blue-white star that is located in the right arm of the twin on the left, and Waysat, which is a triple star system that is located in the middle of the constellation. The story of Castor and Pollux, the twins whom the constellation is named after, is a famous one in Greek mythology. According to legend, the two were born to Leda, the queen of Sparta, but had different fathers. Castor was the son of Tyndareus, the king of Sparta, while Pollux was the son of Zeus, the king of the gods. The twins were known for their bravery and were famous for their ability to fight together. When Castor was killed in battle, Pollux was so grief-stricken that he asked Zeus to let him share his immortality with his brother. Zeus agreed, and the two were placed in the sky as the constellation Gemini, where they could be together forever. According to Hindu mythology, Yama and Yami were the children of Vivasvat, the god of the sun, and his wife Saranyu. Yama was known as the god of death and the underworld, while his sister Yami was known for her beauty and charm. In one version of the story, Yami falls in love with her brother Yama and tries to marry him, but he refuses her advances. In another version, Yami asks Yama for a child, but he refuses and she becomes angry, leading to a quarrel between the siblings. In both versions of the story, Yama and Yami's relationship is strained due to their conflicting desires, but they remain inseparable as twins. This story is often associated with the twin forms in the Gemini constellation, which represent the duality and inseparability of the twins. Overall, the story of Yama and Yami provides a mythical explanation for the significance of the twin forms in the Mithun Rashi, or Gemini zodiac sign. The twins are associated with duality, conflict, inseparability, indecision, and conflicting desires. The ruling planet of Mithun Rashi is Mercury, which is also known as Bud in Vedic astrology. Mercury is considered to be a highly intellectual planet, associated with communication, intelligence, and learning. It is believed that Mercury was the son of the moon god, Chandra, and his wife, Tara. This union caused a great conflict between Chandra and the powerful sage Brihaspati, who was also the teacher of the gods. Brihaspati cursed Chandra and his son Mercury, causing them to lose their power and influence. However, after a period of penance and worship, Mercury was able to regain his status and became the lord of Mithun Rashi. These stories and beliefs illustrate the important role that Mercury plays in Vedic astrology. According to the Puranas, there was a demon named Jayastha who was wreaking havoc on earth. Jayastha had a boon from Lord Brahma that he could not be killed by any weapon or power. The only way to defeat him was through intelligence and wit. The gods and sages were unable to defeat Jayastha, so they went to Lord Vishnu for help. Lord Vishnu advised the gods and sages to create a powerful weapon called the Brahmastra, which required a highly intelligent and skilled person to operate it. The gods and sages searched for such a person and found Bud or Mercury, who was known for his intelligence and wit. 
Bud agreed to operate the Brahmastra and defeated Jayastha, saving the earth. As a result of this victory, the gods and sages declared Bud as the lord of Mithun Rashi, which represents intelligence, communication, and quick thinking. The story also highlights the importance of intelligence and wit in overcoming challenges, which are qualities that those born under the influence of Mithun Rashi are believed to possess. Mercury is exalted in Virgo. As Mercury was the son of the moon and Terra, he inherited the qualities of both his parents. The moon is associated with emotions and intuition, while Terra is associated with intellect and knowledge. Mercury, as a result, became a planet that represented both emotional and intellectual intelligence. Virgo, on the other hand, is an earth sign that is known for its practicality, organization, and attention to detail. These qualities are closely linked to the intellect and knowledge that Mercury represents. According to Vedic astrology, Mercury is exalted in Virgo because the energies of these two entities complement each other perfectly. The practical and analytical nature of Virgo enhances Mercury's natural qualities of intelligence and communication. Mercury is debilitated in Pisces. According to Hindu mythology, the god Vishnu was once carrying out his duties of protecting the universe when he noticed that the demon Samaka was trying to overthrow the gods and take over the universe. To stop the demon, Vishnu decided to take on the form of a beautiful woman and seduce Samaka. The plan worked, and Samaka was completely taken by Vishnu's beauty. However, as the two were about to consummate their relationship, Vishnu revealed his true form and defeated Samaka. During the battle, some of Somaka's blood fell on Vishnu's body and contaminated him. To rid himself of the contamination, Vishnu took a bath in the holy river Ganges. As he bathed, the river goddess Ganga flowed over him, washing away the contamination. However, some of the contamination was carried downstream and fell on the planet Mercury, causing it to become debilitated in Pisces. In Vedic astrology, Pisces is associated with spirituality, mysticism, and the unknown, while Mercury is associated with intellect, communication, and logical thinking. The debilitation of Mercury in Pisces is believed to be due to the contamination it received from Somaka's blood, which represents the negative energies of lust, desire, and attachment. These energies are not conducive to the spiritual nature of Pisces and can cause Mercury's energies to become confused and distorted, leading to debilitation. According to Vedic astrology, each sign or Rashi is associated with a particular environment or habitat that can be used to understand the energies and themes conducive to the Rashi. The environment of the Mithun Rashi is characterized by duality, adaptability, and intellectual exploration. The Mithun Rashi environment is conducive to growth in areas such as creative pursuits, communication, and intellectual exploration. It is fertile land for quick thinking and adaptability, as well as social interaction and networking, including situations that encourage creative exploration and intellectual growth. However, the duality of the twin forms in the Gemini constellation promotes restlessness or indecision. The environment of Mithun Rashi may be somewhat unstable and unpredictable and hampers balance and stability. It is conducive to the growth of intellectual pursuits, creative exploration, and social interaction. However, overly rigid or fixed ideas may not thrive in this environment, as the adaptability and duality associated with this sign may require an openness to change and exploration. Overall, the environment of Mithun Rashi is characterized by duality, adaptability, and intellectual exploration. It requires flexibility and openness to change to thrive. The element of Mithun Rashi is air, which is associated with qualities such as communication, intellect, and adaptability. The air element is all about movement and change, and it allows for the free flow of ideas and information. Air is also linked with the breath of life, which gives vitality to all living beings. Air is a free-flowing, light, and dynamic element that is constantly in motion. It represents movement, change, and communication, 
which are all key characteristics of Mithun Rashi. The airy nature of this sign is reflected in its dualistic and adaptable qualities, as well as its focus on intellectual pursuits and communication. The airy energy of Mithun Rashi fosters a creative and imaginative environment, encouraging exploration, learning, and experimentation. It promotes open-mindedness, versatility, and adaptability, allowing individuals to think and act in a variety of ways. Air also represents the power of speech, making this sign particularly adept at communication, networking, and socializing. At the same time, the airy quality of Mithun Rashi can also bring some challenges. Its dualistic nature can lead to an environment of indecisiveness and lack of direction, making it difficult to stick to one particular path or goal. The constant need for stimulation and variety can also lead to a lack of focus and restlessness. However, when harnessed properly, the airy energy of Mithun Rashi can be a powerful force for growth and development. Mithun Rashi comprises three nakshatras and their padas, which are Mergashara, Ardra, and Punarvasu. Each of these nakshatras and their padas has unique qualities and characteristics that contribute to the overall environment of Mithun Rashi. The third and fourth padas of Mergashara nakshatra fall in Mithun Rashi, and they are associated with the energy of seeking and searching. The third pada is ruled by Mercury, which adds a communicative and intellectual quality, while the fourth pada is ruled by Moon, which adds a nurturing and emotional quality. The symbolism of the deer also continues in these two padas, representing the pursuit of knowledge and intellectual growth. All four padas of Ardra Nakshatra fall in Mithun Rashi, and they are associated with the energy of transformation and change. This energy is expressed through the symbolism of the storm, which brings destruction and transformation. The first pada is ruled by Rahu, which gives it an intense and transformative quality while the second pada is ruled by Mercury, which adds a communicative and intellectual quality. The third pada of Ardra Nakshatra is ruled by Venus, which brings a harmonious and artistic quality to the transformative energy of the Nakshatra. This can be expressed through creative expression, as well as in the context of relationships and partnerships. The fourth pada is ruled by Mars, which adds a dynamic and forceful quality to the energy of transformation. This can be expressed through action and initiative, as well as through the pursuit of personal and professional goals. Taken together, the four padas of Ardra Nakshatra in Mithun Rashi represent a complex interplay of energies that can manifest in a variety of ways. The transformative energy of the storm can bring about destruction and change but it can also be harnessed to bring about growth and renewal. The influence of Rahu, Mercury, Venus, and Mars in each of the padas adds unique qualities to this energy, allowing for a range of expression and experience. Overall, the energy of Ardra Nakshatra in Mithun Rashi encourages us to embrace change and transformation, even when it may be difficult or uncomfortable. The first three padas of Punarvasu Nakshatra fall in Mithun Rashi. Punarvasu is associated with renewal, rejuvenation, and growth. It is symbolized by a quiver of arrows, representing the potential for growth and expansion. The first pada is ruled by Jupiter, bringing spiritual and expansive energy, while the second pada is ruled by Saturn, adding more grounded and practical energy. The third pada is ruled by Mercury, which brings communicative and intellectual energy to the nakshatra. In the first pada of Punarvasu, we see the potential for growth and expansion driven by a spiritual and philosophical perspective. The second pada of Punarvasu brings in more practical and disciplined energy, which helps to ground the potential growth and expansion. The third pada of Punarvasu focused on communication and intellectual pursuits can help to disseminate the knowledge gained from the growth experienced in the first two padas. Overall, the nakshatras in Mithun Rashi bring dynamic and transformative energy, focusing on communication, intellectual pursuits, and expansion. The influence of Mercury as the lord of Mithun Rashi further enhances these qualities, making it an ideal environment for learning, exploration, and transformation.